What's up, Faith family? Uh, Jarvis Guy and the Voyager Arts YT here, and welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the uh, Hot Wheels second generation 4GT. Now, this particular variant here was first introduced in the 2018 Hot Wheels Exotic uh, line of cars. And for those of you that don't know the don't know the deeper lore behind the 4GT that's been produced since uh, around 2004-2006, um, these cars are based upon the uh, original four gt cars that won multiple grand tour races in the 24-hour le mans race uh, this car just uh, i guess the newer four gts the first and second generation gts uh they hold a very special place in my heart i remember playing need for speed most wanted 2012 the need for speed payback and need for speed he just using the hell out of the four gt these things were so awesome to use they weren't really the best performing cars uh, in the games, uh, unless we're talking about Need for Speed Heat, since the Ford GT was was godly in that game. It just it just performed so well. It could handle turns amazingly, just everything. But uh, these cars weren't always the best that you could get in the game, but just the design on them, just the, I guess, the sleek and honestly futuristic design, I really appreciated how they were able to do that, while at the same time keeping the, keeping the I guess, classic for GT iconography and uh, visual design heritage. I think they did a really good job with that, in particular the Ford designers. And yeah, it's just it's just good to see, I guess, retro styled cars that are just directly honoring uh, the legacy of what came before. You don't see that with a lot of cars nowadays. You, you don't even get a lot of uh, retro styled cars. So it's just it's just very cool to see that. It's a shame that they're gonna discontinue this car I'm in December this year. That's what I read on. Uh, Wikipedia, so uh, take take that however you will. But uh, I, I do hope that Ford eventually brings this back. Even then, this is a this is a pretty awesome design. So I do hope that they bring back um, either um, second generation Ford GT or, or just uh, honor this design in the third generation uh, sometime soon. That'd be awesome. But that's all the positive stuff out of the way. As for the diecast, tell you what, I was at a toy show and I saw this this line about for five dollars, and I thought, you know what, I, I've been missing the Ford GT from my collection. So even though this isn't, you know, my favorite color, you know, the red with white stripes. I would have preferred uh, a silver or gray one. I'm like, okay, well, you know what? I'll, I'll take what I can get. It'll, it'll be nice to have a Ford GT in my collection. This is uh, this is not a good die cast. I'll say that right off the bat. One of the key things about the Ford GT, and you'll know this if you've seen them from behind, is that they're, they're like cavities in the back. There's open air. And to me, to me, that's that's important for the car's design because it shows that it doesn't need that space. It can just it can just sort of do what it wants with the design because this is unnecessary because it has all the power it needs in the center. To me, that's what it symbolizes. So when they fill in the gaps like that, and, and I know this was done to save money and make it easier to cast, I'm like, why couldn't you keep that? Or at least you could have made this a premium so that you could have done the second generation design some justice because I think the second generation design is the best that Ford has ever done on any car with the GT family name. That I mean, I know that may be a hot take, but but that's that's just how I feel. I mean, this is objectively not a faithful recreation of the actual Ford GT car, and this is this is just really disappointing to me. You know, I could say whatever about the paint. I could say whatever about the paint. I could say whatever about the fact that the that the Ford logo is, is 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 done okay. That doesn't look like a fucking Ford logo. That looks like Fry, like from Futurama, but. Just, just the design of the car. It's, just, it's just not good enough. It's, it's, it's not good enough, you know. And I don't think it was ever going to be good enough because maybe its design doesn't translate well to the to the art of diecast. Maybe, maybe it's just not meant for that. But I still think that they could have they could have done a much better job because honestly, this feels cheap. And you know, it evokes the same uh, general broad strokes of the of the Ford GT design. But the point still stands that this is. This is not a faithful recreation, and this is, it's just disappointing. Like I said, it's disappointing. And um, moving into the final remarks, I, if, if you really like the Ford GT, I, I would recommend this thing, especially if you don't have one in your collection. But just know that this is not a great die cast. <coughs> and, and you are not getting the highest quality that, that Mattel could have given you. If you see it at a store, I'd say definitely pick it up. But if you see it at a toy show for like $5, you know, I forget what I said earlier in my recommendation. Um, I wouldn't buy this for five dollars again if I had to go back and do it. I would have just just waited until I saw it at freaking Walmart or Dollar General or something because this is not worth five dollars. This is this is hardly worth uh, ninety six to a dollar and and, and twenty five cents. I don't, I don't even think it's worth that much. I think it might, this might be a fifty cent Hot Wheels car. And we're taking it back to the sixties with this shit, man. Design. It's just it's just such a shame. Just the cavities, man. What happened to the cavities? This is like this is like the one time that I'm wanting cavities. 
and and I don't have them. What a sick joke. What a sick joke. Either way, um, that's been my review of the 2018 Ford GT. If this was any other car, if, if this, even, hell, if this was an unlicensed car, I'd probably be um, a lot less harsh on this car. But I have such an attachment to the Ford GT. I know what it should look like. The fact that, it, that it, it's not it's not faithful to reality, you know, it, it really does piss me off, man. If if only I knew less about the Ford GT, then then I'd be raving over this because they kept the general silhouette of the design. But other than that, man, this is, this doesn't feel like the same car. It doesn't feel like the same car. It's just it's just sort of shoddy. It's not McDonald's Happy Meal toy level, like I always say, but this is this is not high quality work. Either way, that should that should wrap things up. I don't want to go on too long. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Pretty much all I have to say. Uh, Jarvis gotten out. Have a great night or morning whenever you're watching this.